Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a, it's been a while. It's been about two or three weeks, and yeah, I've just been very busy, especially with college. Uh, I'm back from my final year and I'm studying one thing that's going to impact this a lot: global cinema. So yeah, over the next while, you're going to see a few random foreign films sprinkled in there. Not that I don't already watch plenty of foreign films anyway, but yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna definitely make my letterboxed account look way more sophisticated. If you want to support the channel in any way, please like this video. If you're new, please subscribe. And yeah, one of the biggest things to support the channel is just comment on the video, please. Whatever you think of the video, whatever you think of any of the movies, any movie recommendations, comment away. I started off the month by watching They Slash Them, the truly horrendous new horror film starring Kevin Bacon about a gay concentrate, no, a gay conversion camp in which the vibes are very, 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 very strange and I don't really know what they're going for when they're making this. I actually, they somehow managed to make the, um, the LGBTQ characters in this conversion camp unlikable, which is like nuts, like, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem like they even tried to make them likable. It actually seemed like they made an effort to make them unlikable, which bears the question, what were they thinking when they made this truly awful horror movie? I then watched Nope, and I really enjoyed it. I have to say, it's it's definitely one of my favorite horror movies of the year. I thought that it looked amazing. The cinematography is great. The scenes at nighttime are great. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here because I feel like that's what everyone says about it, but it, everyone says about it because it's really obvious and really true. The night scenes are really, really good to look at. I feel like it's Peel's first film where we get like his full vision. He's like in full creative mode. It's his most creative movie for sure. I don't know if it's his scariest, but it's definitely got a, a serious sense of like existential dread. Like especially there's one particular scene everyone knows it after they've seen the movie with Steven Yeun and he looks up and then things happen that scene is truly terrifying but overall I don't think it's the scariest of his movies but I do think it's got so much to unpack there's so many references there's so many fun elements to this world that Peel has built in this movie I really like Nope and I will happily be re-watching it soon for Halloween I'm sure and then watched Funny Pages, which is a movie I did a video on. I watched Thor Love and Thunder, which I don't think deserves the hate it gets. It's definitely not a incredible movie, but it's fun. And then I watched Marcel the Shell with Shoes on, which is probably the movie that I've cried the most to that I've ever seen. This movie made me weep like a little bitch. And you know what? It's so earned. This movie is literally a masterpiece. It's one of the greatest movies uh, ever. It's one of the most emotional movies I've ever seen. It is unquestionably one of the movies that I will be watching every year in the same way I watch Paddington every year, in the same way I watch Star Wars every year, in the same way I watch Die Hard most Christmases. The same way I watch Harry Potter every year, I will be watching Marcel the Shell with Shoes on every year going forward. This movie is an absolute masterpiece. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna disclose what it's about. All I'm gonna say is, watch the trailer. Just watch the trailer. I'll link the trailer, and you'll know, you'll know from the trailer alone what this movie is about. And it's infinitely, the trailer's good. Don't get me wrong but it is infinitely more impactful than the trailer would even have you believe. And as I said, it's a good trailer. I then watched Dirty Harry, My Own Private Idaho, Pinocchio, which fuck that movie, Okja, Captain Marvel. Then I watched Citizen Kane, which I, I don't know if you guys know about this movie. It's a, it's pretty, it's pretty underground uh, indie movie. Citizen Kane is actually a masterpiece. I finally watched it in full. I had to watch it for, film school as most people who watch these videos would call it in college in second year but we had to like crit critically analyze certain scenes we didn't watch the whole movie and i hadn't seen the movie yet and this was during lockdown so i actually i don't actually think i had any real access to it because even on those 
dodgy websites. I'm pretty sure Citizen Kane wasn't there for some reason. Anyway, I finally got around to watching it, and yet it is truly a masterpiece, and it is an insane amount of years before its time. Like, it is so before its time. It's crazy. I then watched One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is an absolute masterpiece. I watched Dracula from 1931, which is... How do you describe that? It's got a it's got a scene where a driver becomes a bat in a string. Like that's it's 1931 Dracula. It's pretty fun. It's got some good performances. It's got a really really anticlimactic ending. A really bizarre choice of ending. I'm gonna start watching some of those uh, Universal monster movies over Halloween as well. You know the. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, The Mummy, the Wolfman, all them. I'm going to try and get as many of them watched for this Halloween. I'm going to try and get a couple of Halloween-themed videos out in the next month. I then watched Candyman, the original, which is an absolute masterpiece, and Tony Todd was born to play Candyman. I then watched Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh, its sequel, which is a jump-scary, messy sequel, which adds to the aura of Candyman, but the movie itself isn't very good. Then I watched the first four Friday the 13th movies. Uh, again, that'll be for a video where I go in depth on them, don't you worry. And then I watched Bicycle Thieves, which is an absolute masterpiece. It is uh, Italian neorealism. Oh, see, when I started studying foreign films this month, it was with Bicycle Thieves. Yeah, it's an absolute... Oh my god, what a movie. The ending is incredible, the performances, both Bruno and Antonio are incredible. I've started to leave like very more like more detailed reviews on Letterboxd these days, mainly of the movies that I watch in these lectures that I'm in, because I kind of have to critically analyze them and I just, I, I kind of use Letterboxd as a, an outlet for my first draft. So yeah, check me out on Letterboxd. I then watched The Karate Kid. The Merowitz Stories, New and Selected, The Passion of Joan of Arc, Salam Bombay, and then I finished off the month by watching I Saw the Devil, which, holy shit, that movie is incredible. Um, it's definitely one of the most fucked up movies I've seen in a while. It's a thriller about a serial killer and a man hunting a serial killer because... I'm not gonna spoil things, but in the first scene we see some pretty fucked up shit. Um, it's kind of hard not to spoil this movie. It's a better, it's a better guy who's hunting a serial killer, but the serial killer is really messed up, and the guy hunting him becomes pretty messed up too. The serial killer is Choi Min Sik, who you would know from Old Boy, amongst other things. And yeah, that movie is really messed up and an absolute masterpiece. One of the greatest serial killer movies I've ever seen. One of my favorite Korean films I've seen as well. And I love Korean films. Thank you so much for watching. I am well aware that the uploads have not been coming thick and fast lately. I do apologize, but I am in my final year of college, which is is pretty intense so i don't have a lot of time for these videos i definitely have enough time to do my what i watch this month and then anything in between those at least until the next semester which would be january anything between those is just kind of a bonus at this point because my my assignments are very much coming thick and fast but i will try my absolute best to get some form of halloween video out for you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon